Hi, this is Fred. I'm going to show you how to use BigBlueButton inside of Moodle. And to do that, I'll go through the installation of the plugin, how to set up a session, join it, record it, see the recordings. You can skip over this part if you've already got it installed, but it only takes us a moment to install it. I've got a basic Moodle site here. So I'm going to go to plugins. I'm going to install the plugin and I'm going to do it from the Moodle plugins directory. Moodle makes it really easy to install plugins. So I'm just going to type in BigBlueButton. And this is the plugin that I want, the Big Blue Button BN plugin. So I'm going to install it. And it asks if I want to install it on my site. And I say yes. So it will download it. I'm going to continue. This is all basic installation for a plugin. I'm going to continue. And I'm going to upgrade the Moodle database. So after this installs, I will be able to do some configuration to it. But I'm just going to leave the default configuration. There's nothing you need to change. It already comes pre-configured with some credentials that let you test out Big Blue Button right away. And there are some settings here that you can tweak, but we're just gonna leave all of them as the defaults. Maybe the only one you wanna look at is if in your course or in your Moodle site, you have different roles that you wanna map into a moderator, you can do that. But let's save changes and let's get into a course. All right. So I have created a simple course. Again, this is a very blank Moodle site. And I'm going to turn the editing on and I'm going to add an activity or resource. So as an instructor, to add Big Blue Button, I just click here and add it. And it now gives me uh, an activity. And all I really have to do is give it a name. I'll say evening classes. I'm not going to make any other changes. We'll come back in a moment and we'll see what's there. I'm going to save and display. If I click on it, I can join the session. Or as a teacher, when I go in, I become a moderator in Big Blue Button. So I'm going to join the audio, allow. So I go test, echo, hello, hello. hello. There's you no software to install. You are the only person in this conference. Big Blue Button runs with inside the browser. It's pure HTML5 app, Mac, Unix, PC, Chromebook, uh, mobile devices as well. Probably the first thing you want to do is let's actually start recording this. Okay, and I'm going to upload a presentation. And we just held an online conference, Big Blue Button World, so I'm gonna upload that conference. So while that's uploading the background, show you a quick few features. Big Blue Button has shared notes so students can collaborate. This is some shared notes. I have public chat. I can chat, hi everyone. There's nobody else in the session right now. It's just me. It's picked up my name and been user from the course. It would normally be your name as the instructor. And in the Big Blue Button interface, I can advance through the slides. All the students would see this. I'm going to share my webcam. So it's got all the core capabilities. Sharing of audio, video, slides, chat, desktop. I can do a poll. So for example, let's say when I do like an ABCD poll, it looks pretty good. I'll start it. There's, no resp there's nobody responding to it, but that's okay. And I'll publish the poll results and you'd see them there. So let me just go through some more slides. This is a slide deck that I shared recently at the Big Blue Button World Conference and talks about why Big Blue Button exists, which is really to help instructors teach and engage students online, basically teach the next generation. And this one here, UNESCO, talks about sustainability goals. Underlying many of them is access to high quality education. That's what Big Blue Button provides. All right, so let's say this was our presentation or our lecture. I'm going to end the meeting. I'm going to end. And we're going to go back to class. So in a moment, the recording will become available for this. And while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to go back and let's take a look at the settings that I said I would give you a quick look at. So if I edit these settings, there's some ones that we can do for providing description of what it sees when students see it in the class. This is the link to our evening classes. And you can display the description on the course page. And I can send notifications if the uh, I want to tell students that the plugin settings have updated. Inside the activity session, I can actually set a welcome message for Big Blue Button. This is a three hour session. And I can have that students cannot join this session until I, as instructor, started. And it has wait for moderator because when I go into Big Blue Button, it's a I go in as a moderator. You may have uh, 
other users that you want to have come in. So I can map a particular user or I can map a particular role. And I could say, well, I want all teachers. Let's pick something else. I want all not editing teachers to be enrolled as moderator. This was actually settable in the global settings, but here you can customize it for each course. I can schedule it in the calendar. There's a common module setting. So if I had groups to find, the uh, users would go into each of their groups. This is different than breakout rooms and big blue button. This is supporting the groups inside of Moodle. I can restrict access to it, have some basic activity completion. I can tag it and competencies. So pretty much all the basic integration capabilities you'd expect. And I'm going to save and display. I'm going to go back. And while we were waiting, that presentation processed. So I'm going to show you, you have some buttons here. I can lock it so that nobody can access that link if I click on it to, to view it. Uh, and I can also hide it so that nobody sees it except I do. But we'll leave it as the default. So let's go take a look. This is the recording I just did. If I play it, okay, and I'm going to upload a presentation. It starts playing, Excuse and me. I can scrub anywhere in the recording I want. So it's so you'd see them there. Okay. So let me. Just, uh, and I can also see the shared notes here as well. So I can go back and forth to shared notes and share chat. I can swap uh, the presentation with the webcams, or it would be screen sharing if I shared it. I can make it full screen, and I can also search. So if I look at world, I can see all the slides that had the text world in them, and then I can just immediately index to them. So we try to make it really easy for students to navigate through the presentation as well. And you can also choose this playback speed as well. When you're done viewing, just go back and you'll be back inside of Moodle. So that's a quick overview of how to install the plugin, how to add it to a course, a little bit about how to use Big Blue Button, and how to view the recordings. There's lots of information available online to help you use Big Blue Button. If I go into Big Blue Button itself, I have upper right hand corner, I have help. So that'll take you to a page at the bigbluebutton.org website with tutorials, videos, give you an overview of how to use the product. And there's also a knowledge base as well. So you can see how to use Big Blue Button, and we've included lots of stuff of how to use it inside of Moodle. Thanks for watching the plugin overview for Big Blue Button. Go try it out on your website and get your students engaged in online classes.